Transients are incredibly important because they're the things that sort of define the punch and the power of music. But it's really important to know how to manage them. The transient is the part of the wave that's the very, very peak. And when you manage transients, you're sort of controlling how much the peak rises above the RMS level, the normal level. And you can do a lot of good work with that, but the problem is, is that when the difference is too much, then you lose overall level, because most of your level is at a threshold. So if you have a transient that's all the way up there, you have to make sure that you record that without distortion, so you're gonna lower the level of everything. And what the Manly Force does beautifully is without changing the texture or the strength or the power or the attack of the transient, it, in a very 2B kind of way, smooths out the very top and you can get about 60B more gain, which is an incredible advantage for certain things. Now, Manly is as good as anything else on any sort of source material, but this is where it really, in my opinion, is a specialty, is how it manages the top of the signal so that you get a little bit more level without distortion. There's nothing less fun than Pro Tools with little red lines on top. It just doesn't sound very good. I'm Alan Meyerson. I'm a, I'm a recording engineer, mixer, an occasional producer, and uh, I'm here in London. I'm at Abbey Road working on actually two projects, a, a huge video game project with seven hours of music and a movie for Netflix called Slumberland. I own many manly things. <laughs> I have six uh, massive passives. All of my home stereo gear is, I have a Stingray, I have the new headphone amplifier. Uh, I'm a big manly fan. I have a, a very Mew that literally is irreplaceable in the sense that even when I use another one, it doesn't sound the same. So that literally goes with me wherever I go. Through the years, I've used manly gear constantly. One of these days, I'm gonna get some of the silver microphones too. I have two forces, and I wish I had two more. I would use as many of these as I had. The thing that it really um, went into my heart for was when we were doing Lion King, I had been using this proprietary preamp that had been made for me 25 years ago, a tube preamp, and one channel blue. So here I am with 100 musicians on the floor, we're doing everything live and it's gone. So we switched out all of that preamp and put in the force, and lo and behold, it sounds pretty amazing. So I was using it for my main mics, my main orchestral mics for a while, and then for my percussion mics, my drum kit, stuff like that, and all the transient stuff. It's also great on piano, and you know, things, it's great on everything, but the thing it excels on that it's a little bit different than other mics is the way it manages transients. You're gonna get a, a, a fatter sound out of your kick drum, you're gonna get a richer sound out of your snare drum, and it's gonna have tons of crack. In the old days, we used to have tape, and we have tape emulators, but even that doesn't do quite the job that a good tube preamp can do.